we have no time to waste. So quickly I will just show you how I did this effect in this video and how you can apply the same process in your video. So in your editing software you can use masking for different things like color grading, select one part of your screen and make an adjustment there or a lot of other things. But in this case we will just use it for binocular effect. But you can also create uh, effects like someone is uh, looking through a door keyhole or something or a crack in a door or someone is hiding in the closet and there is uh, blinders there so yeah basically you can do anything you want the only limit is your creativity with this little step you can enhance your video in the future so let's get into it so i prepared two videos here where I want to show you how to apply this effect here. So I have one video where I just introduce the, the shot, uh, what's happening here. It's like just looking around. I will just cut it here and watching left and right. And then that's all. Cut it here and I have this shot um, and I just do a handheld shot on a field to the forest and yeah just just grab your camera pan a little left and right just some movement and we are okay so if you put it next to each other it's like and I even cut it more here so like this Yes, watching, watching what you can see. If you want to make it really professional, then watch the movement. And when I'm, I'm panning the, to the left side, like here at that point, you can just mark it and find the same panning movement, like here, it's panning to the left. And you just put it there and it's like continuous yeah so but we are not professionals yet in DaVinci Resolve you have this effect called binocular effect but as you can see it's a double uh, whole thing and I didn't find anything to change it you can change everything else but not the the amount of watching holes or I don't know how to how to go so instead of this and yeah this tutorial is meant for masking so we just delete the effect and we are going to the color page we have only one node you can color grade or whatever you want so we have to make a window and of course you won't use the square one you want to use the circle one and as you can see, nothing happened, of course, uh, but you can see in the node, there is the circle. So to make this effect, you have to do a right click, add alpha output and connect the blue one to the blue one. So basically, basically you just removed everything is uh, outside of the mask and on the timeline, it's looking like this. And yeah, this is, if you want to put something under it then it will look like this so just don't forget to make an alpha output here right click and alpha out output and connect it and we are not yet there so you can adjust it make it bigger if you want yeah just like this and i would say this is okay and to make, to sell it even better, you can adjust the opacity or the softness here, the featherness. And yes, definitely you have to use some because if you don't, then it's looking like this. And as you can see, it's terrible. It's not real. So use a little. And you can always go to check it. And I say this is this is okay. This is fine for me. And we still have something to do with it, or we can, if you want, to make it even better. 
uh, use lens uh, distortion for example and just play with it uh, make it center and just 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 play with it you can check what it does and things like that and I think I will keep it like this yes it's it's like a barrel it's like a lens as you can see okay and in this shot like I said I used handheld and we already have some motion but for example if you have this shot here and you would use the same like this Where is my hmm? Oh here it is. So I just want to demonstrate something. If you use the same method here, it's just a hole there, so it's nothing nothing extra. And if you want to make it better, then you have to go to the effect library and add camera shake and just adjust it a little bit down and it's like a handheld shot much better okay but just delete this and i would say this is it that's it for that's it for this video i think we did good here and if you can if I just disable this node, you can see it's nothing special on this shot. But if you go back and enable it and play it, we have the binocular effect here. I hope I could help you. And if you found this video helpful, give me a subscribe or maybe a like too. And like always, See you in the next one. Bye.